Um, mm. Tracy, another great question here from Kanayo. And just again, reading this for people also listening on the podcast today. How do we create a good summary statement at the beginning of a CV or should we even put one? Thoughts about just that high level executive summary of what you as a person offer that employer? So this is, uh, it's interesting because there's um, a recruitment uh, agency called Crayon that I sometimes consult with. And the, the CEO there has been, is a, a fan of having a, a summary at the top. He um, says uh, to sort of highlight, or, for example, <laughs> And again, I'm referring to someone that I was working with last night. For example, things at the top, he says, if there are specific skills, you should do a, a personal summary. But don't be generic. So don't things say things like, I'm a good team worker, I'm diligent, I'm all that, you know, everyone says that they're that. I think at the top, if you're doing a professional um, summary, talk about the stuff that you have um, made an impact in. So um, like you were saying earlier, Pete, where uh, you can say um, it's, it's quite a good um, thing for me to think about because it tends to not be something I do. So that's why I'm kind of weighing it up. I normally just say have a line and use that in your CV. But Derek said it's really good to have it uh, to have a snapshot of your skills, so long as it's not generic stuff. So say I am a um, I a, a award winning um, uh, advertising agency um, a data specialist. I'm making up all sorts of words um, with a background in. Um, science and a desire to become a leading teller at Checkers. <laughs> okay, so then it's nice and simple. Not a story about your life that can go in the cover letter. From a personal perspective, I actually on my CV template have a one-liner where I say, um, say something unique about you. I actually put it there and then people and I say, okay, describe yourself to me. Okay, what is it? Come on, let's push, push, push. I don't want... Uh, so we actually did one the other day where it was um, financier um, uh, by background, um, uh, author by, uh, by passion, um, capitalist at heart. Or so we made something funky at the top. There, there's one that always stood in my mind. Um, somebody in his one-liner said, if I was a share... I'd be Facebook pre-IPO. Now, that's very banky, obviously. But, you know, I'm still talking about it like six years later. That's the kind of catchiness that you want.